Lord is rich unto all. So when I stand and I see God doing mighty things with Benny Hinn, when I stand and I see God doing mighty things with the millionaires and billionaires, when I stand and I see God doing great things with men of God, I am inspired, but not inspired to the point where you will now rate yourself as second class. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Listen to me. On every champion and every world changer has found a way of indoctrinating themselves, not arrogantly so, but truthfully so, into an understanding that I stand in a platform through Christ that opens me up to any advantage possible on earth. Do you know what it means to be a child of God? Being a child of God is the most superior most superior honor that any man can get on earth the second honor you can get on earth is to be the son of a monarch or to be a monarch the third will be to be an ambassador or a politician at the highest level there, there are cadres of honor the highest of them is to be called a child of god behold what manner of love the father had bestowed upon us in that we are called us you know we just say it carelessly i'm a child of god donald trump's son needs only few assignments in his life are we together now because a major part of it has been solved look at this our lovely children that we just dedicated the truth is that there are some struggles they will not have in their life again till jesus comes remember we are the bridge between the old and the new we have been that sacrifice that have you know labored for people i'm a child of god it's a powerful revelation the monarch of the universe is my father let that revelation touch you when you say god is my father many people are used to abusing the name god for some people god is a bottle of minerals for some people god is an idol with a stone so when you say god is my father it doesn't carry the weight i'm no longer slave to fear i am a child I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. So you may come from a background that has no advantage. It is true that your earthly father may not be able to help you. It is true that your heavenly, your earthly mother, or whatever it is, the disadvantage, but the consciousness that the monarch of the universe has decided to become my father and i am his child is a revelation that you must have it instantly gives you a sense of superiority not from a negative standpoint are you getting what i'm saying now yes but you move around knowing that the earth is your estate when I travel to any region, I expect the same thing to happen, regardless of location, because I am still within the domain of my father. Now, when you travel to other parts of the world, you will do left-hand driving, others right-hand driving. When you pass through other places in the world, because of the system of government, sociologically speaking, you are mandated to do certain things. But the awareness that the earth is the Lord's, that means in reality there is no disadvantage because wherever you are located and situated within this territory it is the domain of this monarch called god are we together now very powerful so the bible says that we come boldly this is the first thing i want to establish the promises of god not just the promise of the holy spirit the promises of god that are written in scripture 
the promises to prosper the promises to heal the promises to lift the promises to bless listen the promise of influence like god spoke to us genesis 17 and verse 6 i will make you exceeding fruitful he said and that kings will come out of your loins nations will come out of you it's not necessarily is it was to abraham but galatians 3 29 says if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs are according to the promise everybody is a spiritual jew in christ and that reality has brought us to a point where there is no disadvantage i pray that god will help you understand what i've said it is not our background no it is not our sociological context it is an understanding of the neutrality the centrality so understand this tonight even as we prepare to live and travel to different regions there is nobody called by god to a life of failure bishop oedeko said every calling in christ is a high calling everybody say a high calling yes there are no low callings in christ nobody is called to a life of failure mediocrity defeat no we are called to a life of excellence we are called to a life of grace we are called to a life of influence we are called to a life where the bible says that through the church the manifold many-sided wisdom of god will be displayed to principalities and powers if you're with me please say amen now but strangely so and i want to pay attention now the bible seemed to be very open about individuals that god decided to carve out a name for and i want to show you the secrets so that we can tap into this grace and into this possibility the first is in genesis chapter 18 from verse 17 to 19 God seems to talk to Abraham in a strange way and the Bible records that Abraham was called the friend of God not many people in life are ever called the friend of God we're reading from verse 17 down to 19 this will bless you look at me he says and the Lord said look up please shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do 18 seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation and that and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him is a question 19 for i know him hmm. that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the lord to do justice and judgment that the lord may bring upon abraham that which he had spoken of him abraham the friend of god it is true that there is a central ground in dealing with god but it seems as though certain individuals were able to route certain pathways with god that now began to create a bias in god's dealings with them to make god himself now start giving them names the name son of god child of god is a generic name for everybody it defines the centrality of god's love but that certain individuals went a step further with god and they started earning for themselves titles that represented special attentions titles that represented certain covenants so from that neutral standpoint you can start growing yourself into specific possibilities with god are you getting what i'm teaching tonight so for abraham he became the friend of god and john chapter 15 please 15 and 16 very powerful scripture john 15 he said you have not chosen me look up but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit he's talking about fruitfulness and that your fruit should remain and whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name he may give it to you next verse he says these things no no go to verse 16 oh dear did i miss something yes 15 let's start from 15 15 and then 16 and 17 henceforth that's what i'm looking for i call you not servants 
Now, it's not an insult to be called a servant of God. A servant of God is not a slave. A servant of God is one who has submitted himself to serve the purposes of God. I know sometimes we say servant, I'm not a servant. If you mean that contrasting sonship, you are right. But you will understand as you grow with God that the hallmark of sonship is servanthood. Are we together? So to be called a servant of God is not an insult. We are bond servants. Paul uses the word bond slaves, but not unto servitude in a negative way. Henceforth, I call you not servants, okay? For the servant. Now, look at this. This is, oh dear, oh dear. May God open our eyes to see in the name of Jesus. Notice, the proof of servant is ignorance of certain information. Knowledge. It says, for a servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. It says, but I have called you friends. What is the advantage of friendship? For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known to you. The advantage of friendship with God is the privilege of access to spiritual knowledge. You know you are a friend of God to the degree to which he bends over backwards to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom, the truths of the kingdom. The Bible calls them the secret things of God. This one is not for everybody. Is God helping us tonight? Parus Calibra has Abraham, my friend, shall I hide this from him? Shall I hide this from him? A servant does not know. He may obey religiously without knowing. But a friend is privy to information. God is about to do certain things and he say, no, Abraham is my friend. This is powerful. So God calls Abraham his friend. So I can know that I am growing just from sonship into friendship by God. By the depth to which he is fortitude to share the secrets of the kingdom. And you know that dominion in this kingdom is a function of the secrets of the kingdom that we access. It's called the hidden wisdom of God. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches wealth and 